Hey guys, um, I came out here, I'm gonna paint some heads, some jig heads. Um, I was gonna show you how I do it. Um, show you what we're gonna be painting today. Um, I ran across these at Walmart a couple months back. They were like three or $4 and they're 48 in a pack. And it's 132nd and 116th minnow heads. I love these jig heads, but the paint job on them sucks. So what I do is I have a jar of lacquer thinner. I'll pour them in there, shake it around for about 15, 20 minutes. It eats the paint completely off. Take them out, brush it off. And yes, I do have to do a little filing, but then you get a nice clean minnow head. It's a good looking jig head. Now I buy my jig heads from a lot of people, but I never pass up a good deal. Uh, so with a little work, you come out with a pretty good little minnow head. So we're gonna paint some up tonight and I'll show you how I do it. I use a blowtorch. Um, we're gonna do some chartreuse from Crazy Angler with a silver holographic on the bottom from TJ's. This stuff is awesome. I don't use aerators. I don't see the point in it. I'm not saying they're bad or anything, but all you have to do is get a screwdriver, stir your paint up, and it'll, it'll fluff it up. Clean it before you go on the next one. Porch lit. And you don't want a big flame. Maybe, I don't know, inch, inch, inch and a half. And what I do is I have a bag of shrink tube that I cut into little pieces. And I stick that over the eye. like that. I don't go all the way down to the head, leave a little space and just a couple of seconds guys over the flame. Not too long because it will melt it. Dip it in your chartreuse, tap it. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to pinch paint the holographic silver on the bottom. Maybe a little on the side. And now that's that little shrink tube's cooled. You just pull it off. And there's absolutely zero paint in that jig eye. And I've got a little hanger right here. I hang them. And you can get this stuff, it comes in a roll of 100 feet, and I think it's, I don't know, $12, $15 on Amazon. It's uh, one millimeter shrink tube. Cut a bunch of pieces up, put it in a Ziploc bag. Pretty easy. It makes life so much easier because I will never clean the eyes out on jig heads again. I used to hate that. Once again, just a couple of seconds over the fire. Dip it. Sprinkle a little holographic silver on the bottom, a little on the sides. Pull the little plastic off. 
perfectly clean. I don't know if you can really see that too well, but man, that holographic silver is awesome on the bottom of these jig heads. Now, one thing you do want to keep in mind is when you put these in the oven, try not to touch the head, touch the hook, because when you touch the head, some of that silver will come off if it's not already cooked. Anyway, this is how I do it. Um, I know a lot of people use heat guns. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't like them because they're loud. This is the blowtorch. I can barely hear it running. And it, to me, it seems like it's a lot quicker. It's just like eight to 10 seconds under the, that, that flame and it's hot enough. And it's ready to paint. And guys, if you have a wife, please do this out in the garage because this holographic silver, it will get everywhere. Um, she'll skin your hide, so be careful. Anyway, there's not that much to it. This is how I do it. I'm not saying this is the right way or the wrong way. This is just the way I do it. Um, a lot of guys swear by aerators. I just don't really see a need in them. I mean, I guess if you're painting hundreds of jig heads a day, then yeah, maybe. But I don't paint that many. I usually do. I don't know, 100, 150 at a time. And I can get pretty quick with them for what I, I need. So now we'll do a candy blue with some holographic silver. So I'll just fluff it up with my screwdriver. Shrink to. That's candy blue with a little silver sprinkled on it. Another one. Anyway, guys, I was just going to show you how I do it. Uh, anybody got any comments, drop them down below. I'd love to hear any new ideas or how you do it. See you guys. Thank you.